Hello YouTubers, in this video we're going to see internal RTC and alarm. I got a LED there, when the time come it will be on every day in the same time. I got a button to switch it on, I got a battery with 3 volt, it will be switched on soon. Yeah it's on, I can off it using this button. This module has internal RTC. When we connect to a 3 volt battery, the clock will keep running. Even if you remove the power, it will have the correct time. We need to connect plus side, this side, to the to this pin, the last pin. And this side to this G, the last pin. When we connect 3 volt battery to the blue pill and remove the main power, the RTC date resets, but the RTC time keeps running so we can get use of RCT, RTC time to switch on a relay or something daily in the same time. The wiring diagram is like this. Ground connected to shorter pin of LED and the longer pin of LED connected through 100 to 500 ohm resistor. Other side of resistor connected to pin A1. The ground connected to minus side of 3 volt battery plus side of the battery connected to VB. We don't need the button. I only use this button to switch off the LED. The connection is like this. The ground connected to through 1 to 10K resistor to one side of the button. The same side of button connected to pin B1. Other side of button connected to 3.3 volt. Instead of the instead of the LED, you can use a relay or something to daily switch on the relay for some purposes. The wiring connection is like this. I have opened the Cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install Cube IDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. You can click System Core, click Sys for the debug serial wire. Click RCC for the high speed clock crystal ceramic resonator. Also for the low speed clock crystal ceramic resonator. We need this one for the real time clock. Now we can click clock configuration tab and in this area enter 72, 72, enter. Click OK. When this one done, we can click pin out and configuration again. It's done. Now we can click. Now we click timers, click RTC, activate clock source, we tick, activate calendar, we tick, and the RTC out, RTC output on temper pin. Now configuration, parameter setting, we make it bigger. The calendar time, we put the time to the current time plus the minute, we put 5 minutes plus so that when we come to the uploading the code, we will get the correct time and second. We go below. For the alarm, put time. 11, 33, 44. Now enter. For the NVIC setting and RTC alarm interrupt and we tick this one. Now for the LED pin, that's a PA1, we make it GPIO output and the button switch we have with the PB1, we make it GPIO input. That's all the setting. We can click save. Now we can upload the code using this green button so that we can set the time to the RTC. for the probe 
I normally use Open OCD. It will work with the original board, also for the clone board. Click Show Generate option. Go below. Reset mode is Software System Reset. Click Apply and wait, till, wait until you get the time in your clock, the correct time. About, about 20 seconds before, you click OK. The code is uploaded. The RTC is set. Now I remove the ST-Link and the power. The clock is running and it keeping the correct time. Now you can plug in the ST-Link again. And in the description below of this video, I have given a website link. This one, when you go below, and the diagram is here, picture is here, the Q by D setting is here, already done. The code is here. In user code begin PV, uh, we need to, we can copy and paste this one. In the main code, user code begin PV, here, we paste it. This is only for uh, demonstration purpose. We don't need this one for the alarm, just for the demo, demo purpose. We go again in the while loop. We copy from here until HAL delay 500. Copy and in the while loop here we paste it. And finally for the alarm there is a callback in user code begin 4. Copy from here until here and copy it and use a code begin for whenever the alarm time comes it goes to the this call back it goes to this call back and then it switch on the LED now in this RTC init and we need to uncomment or delete this this line, this one, and also from here until here, comment. We can delete or comment this one. Otherwise, it will reset the time. So every time we create a new project, we need to comment this one. Whenever we go to this IOC file, and then save it and you need to comment this one again or when you create a new file new project you need to comment this one now basically what it does is uh, in the use of in the while loop it uh, in the this is for the in the while loop when the switch is on it can off the led when we press the button it will off and here i this is the way to get the time. Use this method, this command, and we get in, in G time, we get the time. And in G time dot hours, we have the hours. And in this one, we got the minutes. And this one, we got the seconds. We can use it for any purposes. Now, we can click this button to debug and see the time still running. Uh, we can we need to save it save and click this button again debug to show you the time is still running as accurately and click the live expression with the reading class on it and in here we need to type uh, put this g time copy and you can copy and paste copy and uh, yeah, we can clear it. Just remove all and uh, put the G time here. Enter and uh, make it smaller. We can so that we can see and uh, expand it. And we have the hours, minutes, and time. Now we can click this button to run. Uh, now see the clock is running it's from 11 31 29. And we will have the alarm at 11.33. We can click the stop and it's already uploaded.
I have uploaded the code. Soon the LED will be on. Time is set very quickly. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Let's see the LED is on. Yeah, it's on. I can switch it off again. Thank you. Bye.